Thank you very much. I, I just want to note that uh, Missouri companies often tell us that while they support the intent of regulations like CFATS, these regulations are often redundant, contradictory, poorly defined, as many of you have testified today, and it makes it harder and costlier for them to meet the requirements, and that's especially true in the case of small businesses. I want to just ask uh, about a, a, the uh, commercial security initiatives. Um, Mr. Fridley, I think it was in your written testimony, you wrote that verified industry standard programs and insurance carriers often require companies uh, to maintain contingency plans that are as comprehensive as the contingency plans required by government agencies and often have much more applicability and effectiveness in real world situations. That's from your testimony. Do you want to say something more about that? Yes, Senator Ali, thank you for the question. Um, yeah, there's, there's obviously municipality, there's insurance um, requirements. I have five facilities, over 100 people employed in the state of Missouri. Um, so you know, I, I see this and I- We're I so glad you do. Day. So, uh, but yeah, th th there are uh, different, Everybody has different aspects that they want part of that contingency plan. Um, how we're doing some of these things is we're leveraging the different agencies and different ones on how we can do one plan uh, that satisfies uh, multiple agency requirements, insurance requirements, mm -hmm. and such. Uh, we're doing that same thing with our security models. Uh, we're looking at the, the various requirements by the different agencies and we're putting in one system, security system, that will be, uh, be able to be managed and be applied by all. So we're not necessarily seeing the, the duplicative uh, portion of it, um, at least in, in my experience. Mm -hmm. let, let me just ask Mr. Carroll on that point, uh, can you speak to how CFATS is leveraging or considering leveraging commercial security initiatives uh, to advance the goal of protecting chemical facilities and then wherever possible to reduce any duplicative or unnecessary regulatory burdens on business? Absolutely. So uh, <clears throat> I just got to the department back in December. So I, I've often said in this forum that, uh, you know, I've been a regulator, I've been regulated, and now I'm seeing things through kind of that federal lens. And so I'm very, very sensitive kind of to that duplicate, duplicative nature of, of compliance and, uh, you know, regulatory standards. And so I think it's very important to reduce where we can. I think that's where the Department of Homeland Security has done a good job of engaging with the other federal regulators out there. We have routine meetings with them to ensure that, you know, while we may show up on a Monday, that somebody else isn't showing up on a Tuesday, which would be a completely disruptive to uh, private industry. Coming from private industry, I'm very sensitive to that. And so I think we've done a good job of ensuring that there's coordination and the ability to, to share information back and forth, uh, which I think prevents some of the issues that you're describing. Right, very good. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 